Good day everyone. Now, let's learn about ICT. What is ICT? ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology. ICT refers to all communication technologies, including the internet, wireless networks, cell phones, computers, softwares, and many more other media applications and services. ICT improves engagement and knowledge retention in education. When ICT is integrated into lessons, students become more engaged in their work. This is because technology provides different opportunity to make it more fun and enjoyable in terms of teaching and the same things in different ways. Now it's time for us to understand the basic concepts in ICT. First up, we have technology. Technology refers to a mix of process and products used in application of knowledge. Technology can also be used to support both learning and teaching. Technology infuses classrooms with digital learning tools such as computers and handheld devices. Next up, we have ICT Literacy. ICT Literacy is about using digital technology, communication tools, and or network to access, manage, integrate, evaluate, and create information in order to function in a knowledge society. It is an ability to use tools of information and communication technology to define one's information problem clearly and to access information efficiently. It also evaluates the reliability, authority, and bias of sources. Now, let's move on to educational technology. Now, what is educational technology? Educational technology is the combined use of computer hardware, software, and educational theory, and practice to facilitate learning. Educational technology creates, uses, and manages technological process and educational resources to help improve user academic performance. It also refers to the use of technology in teaching and learning. It includes both non-digital and digital. Digital Literacy Digital literacy refers to an individual's ability to find, evaluate, and compose clear information through writing and other media and various digital platforms. Digital literacy is evaluated by an individual's grammar, composition, typing skills, and ability to produce text, images, audio, and design using technology. It is also an ability to use information and communication requiring both cognitive and technical skills. Digital learning. Digital learning is an instructional practice that ultimately helps students. It makes use of a broad range of technology enhanced educational strategies. It includes blended learning, flipped learning, personalized learning, and other strategies that rely on digital tools to a small or large degree. Digital learning is any type of learning that is accompanied by technology or by instructional practice that makes effective use of technology. Online digital tools and apps use an internet connection. A common example is Skype. Skype is an application software that enables the world's conversations. Millions of individuals and businesses use Skype to make free video and voice one-to-one -one and group calls, send instant messages, and share files with other people in Skype. You can use Skype on whatever works best for you mobile, computer, or tablet. It is very beneficial because it's easy to use and it enables you to have conversation with your friends, with your family, or even your lover. Now let us proceed to offline digital tools and apps. It includes scanner and learning. It allows offline access for students to write homework and for teachers to grade it. iBooks, KA Lite. KA Lite is a lightweight web application software allows users without internet access engage with Khan Academy videos and exercises in a completely offline setting. KA Lite brings flipped classroom model to some of the most remote areas in the world. Plus, it is free to download and free to use. It runs on Linux, Mac, and even Windows. Instructional Technology Instructional technology is the branch of education concerned with the scientific study of instructional design, 
and development. The main purpose of instructional designers is to create engaging, effective learning experiences. Instructional technology is the theory and practice of design, development, utilization, management, and evaluation of the processes and resources for learning. Now let's get into software. Software is a set of instructions, data, or programs used to operate computers and execute specific tasks. Examples of applications include office suits, database programs, web browsers, word processors, software development tools, image editors, and communication platforms. Software refers to program control instructions and accompanying documents stored on disks or tapes when not being used in computers. Now we have multimedia. Multimedia is sequential use of a variety of formats in a given presentation or self-study programs. Multimedia means that computer information can be represented through audio, video, and animated in addition to traditional media. Multimedia displays information that is being represented, stored, transmitted, and processed digitally. Internet Internet is a global computer network providing a variety of information and communication facilities consisting of interconnected networks using standardized communication protocols. Internet is a network infrastructure. It is generally defined as a global network connecting millions of computers. Well, I don't disagree. The World Wide Web World Wide Web, also called as a web, is a graphical environment that allows you to access, view, and maintain documentations that can include text, data, sound, and videos of the internet. It is an information system where documents and other web resources are identified by uniform resource locators, which may be interlinked by hypertext and are accessible over the internet. Web access Web access is the ability of learners to access the internet at any point during the lesson in order to take advantage of the array of available education resources. Web access means having a connection to the World Wide Web through an access provider or an online service provider such as America Online. For data access, access is usually specified as read-only access and read or write access. WebQuest WebQuest is an inquiry-oriented lesson format in which most or all of the information that learners work with comes from the web. This can be created using various programs, including a simple word processing document that includes links to websites. In WebQuest, teachers provide their students with a document that includes links to websites to use the information according to the activity that they have given. WebQuest supports critical thinking through analyzing, creating, and evaluating. Now let's move on to productivity tools. Productivity tools refers to any type of software associated with computers and related technologies that can be used as tools for personal, professional, or classroom productivity. Productivity tools is a software or technology that a teacher uses to complete a job. Example, software such as Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel. Technology tools. Technology tools is an instrument used for doing work. It can be anything that helps you accomplish your goal with the use of technology. This includes data or calculation tools, design tools, discussion tools, email tools, and even handheld device. Now let's move on to blog. Blog is an online journal where posted information from both teachers and students are arranged. Three kinds include blogs for communication, blog for instruction, and blogs for both. A blog is a means of sharing thoughts and ideas with the world. Your blog can be a personal diary, a project collaboration tool, a guide, or any means of communicating and publishing information on the web. Its uses are as limitless as your imagination. Wiki Wiki is an editable website usually with limited access. It allows students to collaboratively create and post written works or digital files, such as digital photos or videos. 
Example is Wikipedia. Wiki allows users to add and update content on the site using their own web browser. Wiki is a website that allows visitors to make changes, contributions, or corrections. Now moving on. Flip Classroom. Flip Classroom utilizes a reverse instruction delivery where the teacher is required to use the web resources as homework or out-of-class activity as initial instructions of the lesson, which will be discussed during class time. A flip classroom is an instructional strategy and a type of blended learning focused on student engagement and active learning, giving the instructor a better opportunity to deal with the mixed levels, student difficulties, and a differentiated learning preferences during in-class time. Podcast Podcast is an episodic series of spoken word digital audio files that a user can download to a personal device for easy listening. Streaming applications and podcasting services provide a convenient and integrated way to manage a personal consumption, queue across many podcast sources and playback devices. Podcast is a video or audio multimedia clip about a single topic, typically in format of the radio talk show. Two basic functions are retrieve information and to disseminate information. Google Apps Google Apps is a cloud-based teaching tool which is stored in a Google server and is available for students both at home and in school. Vlog Vlog is so familiar, right? Vlog is the most popular thing that is done in YouTube. And guess what? YouTube pays a lot. Ooh, gotta make some vlog now. Moving on. Vlog stands for a video blog or a video log. A vlog is designed to share experiences, thoughts, and ideas with an audience. It is a form of communication which is used to engage an audience in a personal fashion. In short, vlog is a video blog where each entry is posted as video instead of a text. Facebook. Facebook is one of the most popular social networking sites where people can create profiles, share information such as photos and quotes about themselves, and respond or link to the information posted by others. Facebook is used by students and adults worldwide to present information on themselves and to the world. VoIP stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol. VoIP is a category of hardware and software that enables people to use the internet as transmission medium for telephone calls by sending voice data in packets using IP rather than the traditional circuit transmission. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from me. Make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.